New Tool Day Tuesday, where I share with you unique or useful tools that I myself use that I think you might be interested in. Today, we're going to be taking a look at a magnetic induction heater sent to us by KK7s. As we can see right off the bat, it comes in a nice case. They do provide an instruction manual. You'll find the heater itself, a multitude of induction coils, different sizes, and even some open loops. And then the bags are two knobs, and these knobs are what you use to attach the coils to the heater itself. If you have never used or even heard of what an induction heater is, I think you're going to want to watch this video because these are really useful tools. And having one of these on hand can go a long, long way, specifically if you have rusted bolts and nuts and fasteners. Now, they operate by inductive. So a lot of people, when they first see these, they think that these are just heating coils and they're kind of not really just heating coils. In fact, the coils themselves do not really generate the heat. It's the induction that generates the heat and what gets hot is whatever is inside these coils. Undoubtedly, a seasoned mechanic who has had trouble getting a nut off of a fastener has probably used a torch in their past before. That expansion in material does a couple of things. It helps knock the nut loose, but it also allows it to be just a little bit bigger and you can back it off and take it off. What these tools do is the same thing, except they use a inductance ring. The inductance ring just goes over the top of the nuts or the bolts, the fastener, whatever you're trying to heat up. You don't touch it with the coils. You just hover the coils over the top and you turn the unit on. And what's going to get hot is the nut. It can turn cherry red and then you can get that nut off. Now to attach the coil, there are two receiving ends in the induction heater right on the end. You just slip them inside like this. And then those knobs that they gave us in the bags, well, those knobs go on each side and that's what keeps the coil in place and tightens it down. KK7's model has an LED right on the end of it. That way you have a little bit of a flashlight so you can see when you're trying to get this coil around a fastener. And to turn the unit on, it just has a momentary switch. You have to hold it down, the unit will be on, and when you're done, you let go of it and it'll turn itself off. So the question in everybody's mind is, well, how well does the tool work? And I've picked something that is not the best case scenario for the tool. I've picked something with a lot of mass. This is a snow plow. This is an extra thick snow plow. I've actually used it to move dirt. It's that thick. And I have a nut that is extremely rusty. Now we're going to take an impact to it, see if we can remove this nut. And if we cannot, we're going to take some heat using that tool and then see if we can get it off with the impact. So let's go ahead and try, see what happens. We did start to move my wrench. I'm gonna to try to hang on to the wrench a little bit firmer. I'm gonna kind of lock it in a lip here right on the edge of this cutting edge so it won't spin on us. We'll try it one more time. And we are not getting that loose. So let's go ahead and put some heat on it. The tool itself is pretty noisy, so you're gonna hear some fans. I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to hear me when I turn it on, but let's find out. Now, as you can see, we're going to hold it right around the nut. We're not going to rest it on anything. We're going to let the coils float. We're not touching any of the metal with the coils. We're just staying about in the center as best as we can. And this is going to take a couple of minutes, so we'll probably flash forward here in a little bit. This is going to take a couple of minutes, so we'll probably do kind of a cut, but I'll tell you how long it took to get it warm. For kicks and giggles, let's go ahead and try to loosen the nut. We weren't quite cherry red, but everything in the area is extremely hot right now. And we did get the nut loose. It worked that well. Let's go ahead and see if we can turn the head of this bolt cherry red. That would give us a good idea of just how hot this tool can get. And yes, that bolt is glowing cherry red. It is extremely hot. So what are my final thoughts of the KK7's magnetic induction heater? Well, I think it is fantastic. I really love the idea that everything fits in this nice case. They include a good assortment of coils. These coils are coated with a high temp type of protection, but you still don't want to obviously touch the bolt or the fastener while you're heating it up. That'll just keep them around a lot longer. The tool itself is incredibly easy to use and it appears to be very effective. I love the fact that this tool allows you to take a fastener or a nut and get it cherry red without having to use a torch. Not everybody has access to a torch but everybody has access to electricity and that's how this operates and one last thought is if the tool itself is hard to fit into an area you can also bend these and make them fit into those tighter areas the tool is very versatile if you like these types of videos don't forget to like and subscribe take a look at some of my other videos at the very least you might be entertained